Hello and welcome back to Detective Pikachu Returns. Last time, we went through here as Harry, finished up that with Pikachu's memories. Now, we got places to go. We gotta go save Rachel and, uh, Jessica. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna need your help. I'm convinced of it. There's a girder here. It's Metal Gear's lock, but there's nothing to worry about. Feel free to catch the bottom reach the key on the other side. It doesn't seem to be locked, actually. Um, wow, my clever solution fits in nothing. First, we ought to have more careful about leaving things unlocked. Now, don't worry about it. The fun thing is that we can get through without any trouble. Pangoro! We, we need it. See what the produce rocks all over the place. This one around last time I was here. What actually did it come from? But luck for us, we know exactly where to help. Come back, we need your help. Hey. Let's do this. Hey, you smell kind of I, I want more okay, one more try. Did you grow up in Bamboo Burrow? You know, I've been thinking. Okay, yeah, no, the, I think there's only, like, five. Or four. Room for this rock, right? Mind if I get to it? Go for it. Do your thing, Pangor. Okay! Oh! Now I see. Thanks! Nice job, now I can keep going. Thanks for the assist, Fangor. Sure. If you need any more help, just say the word. Wanna move these rocks too, right? No, mind if I get started? Go for it. Do your thing, Pangor. Okay. Hey, the bun will be a ball. There's there no block puzzles like this that you go at the point for one at a time is stupid easy, but I feel like that could have been done better. And they're here, even still. Alright, path cleared. Thanks, Vengo. Don't mention it. Thank you. Thanks, both. Both of ya. <laughs> okay, looks like we can continue now. Hmm. Where's the Pikachu? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Okay. Ready, Tim? Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Looks like everyone's are working. Guess none of the memories came back to me will be handy after all. Eh, that's not true. I hope get all the way here. Now I gotta ride this elevator up and... It came from above. That can't be good. Let's hurry up. Come on, come on! Stressing out won't make this go any faster, Tim. We all came from nearby. Keep your gun up, Tim. All right, let's go. Then go fall behind before we get beat to a pulp. <laughs> we can't fight. Wait, is that Rachel and Jessica? 
Tim, wait! That guy. Looks like I got what I was after. Now I just need to capture that detective duo. Oh, crap. Bro. I've already given you the research data. Just leave us alone. What did you say? You've got a lot of nerve making demands of Unitas. Unitas? Hello, bro. He's a fight. Been waiting for you, great detective. Now you're dealing with an elite. Gola, attack! Gola! Gola! We're up, Pangaro! Oh, heck yeah. I'm already matching, so they already know there's plenty of mice if you tell me. <laughs> Just get that thing off! Pangaro, hold on a little longer! Turning on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yes. I love it. Great. Ooh, that was pretty intense. I'm glad he took off. Pikachu, Penjoro. Is this the end of the chapter? <laughs> Looks really tough opponent to handle. Are you O2 okay? Yeah, that was nothing for us, right, Pengor? Hmm. I got a feeling that you could, could handle just about anything now. Seems like Rachel and Jessica are okay too. It's great to hear. Let's go check with any of them. Yes. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine too. But they stole something really important. Oh no. <laughs> that man in black from area. Said he was from some group called Unitas. Unitas? What is that? Knew he was carrying something important too. What does all mean? Read this guy, you're okay, you're safe now. Just, I can't believe this is happening. I'm gonna say it might be difficult to talk about Jessica, but could you answer some questions? Sure, I can do that. What do you know about Unitas? I mentioned something called Unitas. Can you tell me more about that? Yes, remember that project I told you about before? The one Emily launched in the lab at Rhyme City? It was called the Unitas Project. Hmm? Why do they have the same name? It's by me as well. But why? Why would you use the name as his mother's project? Just as I told us before, the project was cancelled and the lab was shut down. Did that guy who used to work at the lab when it was still running? Do you remember ever seeing him, Jessica? No, I've never seen him before. He knew who I was, though. The man black just know. That was the Unitas organization. No way it's all no coincidence. Great, they gotta be stumbling behind all this. Excuse me. Why do they steal? Research data. Emma collected it from the lab. What? You were just carrying that around? Yeah, I keep it on a thumb drive. I thought of it like a good luck charm. But why? Why are you planning on continuing your research? No, quite the opposite, actually. Rachel definitely spelled the danger for both Pikachu and Pokemon. <laughs> Pikachu and Pokemon! I am an idiot! I forget I should hold on to it keep it from happening. Can't believe my mom would research something so dangerous. Rachel itself was the, about how Pikachu and Pokemon, Pokemon could live together in harmony. And I was specifically focused on the possible interaction between Pokemon and human consciousnesses. In the middle of her research, she made an unexpected discovery. Run away for a human to take full control of Pokemon's consciousness, or even fuse with their own consciousness with it. That's... 
fucking horrifying. Hmm. And my thought so too. That's why she kept her data hidden from everyone else at the lab. Okay, real quick. This is making it very obvious about things. Emma Foster. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was the only person she told where she kept it. She must have really trusted you, Jessica. Yeah, but I couldn't fully understand all the data. It's a bit above my level of expertise. The lab shut down after the island's in. It took the research data away from me. And now that Unitas Goon has it. Should have believed it when I had the chance. No, I, I couldn't bring myself to do it. It's okay. We understand. Man, my eyes meant a lot to you. Mm. You wanted to help her. That was not the mayor. That was Doc doing it. Yes, thank you, Rachel. You just must have known about that research here. What do you think, Tim? Jessica sure gave us a lot to consider, huh? No kidding. So... She was attacked by people who were after Emma's research data. And they called themselves Unitas. The same name as Emma's project. Which means... If we head to the lab... My thoughts exactly. This mystery's been twisty, but I think we're starting to get it. You're right. I suspect that... Wait, Tim. Just a second. I'd like to back up our theory a bit more before we go and get too excited. How? We'll start tomorrow morning by organizing all the information we've collected up to now. This view of the bamboo forest is reminding me of Harry all over again. Did you and my dad come out this way too? Sure did. This is where me and Harry faced down a rampaging lair rod together. <sighs> Good times. That's wild to think about. You and my dad were right here, huh? Yeah, and it wasn't a cakewalk, let me tell you. Yeah. These suspicious looking guys in the bamboo forest, when I try to reason with them, they are having none of it. And Harry couldn't understand me when I tried to tell him. Those guys suddenly took off running, and that's when Laron attacked us. Did someone go berserk because of I? Yeah, I didn't know about I at that point, but it was vital when I found there was a big clue. I see. Oh, wait. What do you mean when you say you tried to reason with them? I wanted to discuss them out before talking to them. Running straight in didn't seem like the right move. They tried playing dumb, something about harvesting bamboo shoots. They used Amira to make Laron go berserk. What's up, Tim? You haven't forgotten about that, have you? What's fucking you? Oh, well, let me ask again. You said you tried to reason with the two specific men. Yeah, of course. You said you tried to reason with the specific men. But that was there too, wasn't he? So, how come Pikachu was the one who had to reason him? Some bad story stranger too. I'll try to find things Pikachu after go over what he just said. That uh, package these two new stories is strange. Think carefully and what's seems strange. Yeah. Oh. Of course, I'm the only one who can stand what Pikachu says. I was able to talk to this special dude. Maybe he got confused when he heard Dad talking to those guys, and then he thinks he's the one who talked to them. No. Mm. As someone who, first of all, it was a real, the first game kind of almost spelled it out. Like this game is playing, playing a game of. How close can we get to confirming this thing without actually saying it? And I think it's managing to spoil. <laughs> it's 
managing to beat the Splatoon 3 DLC at it. <laughs> Pikachu, can I have a word with you? Uh, have a word? What's this about, Tim? If you don't mind, I'd like to talk to you in private. Hmm. In that case, let's chat in there. Go kill and hunt in the bamboo forest. So, what's so important that we need to talk alone? Oh, do you need relationship advice? Uh, yeah, you wish. <laughs> Ever since we got to this area, you've been acting really strange. You think so? I guess all those memories rushing back jumbled my brain. Yep, big time. Well, let's start unjumbling it then. Sounds good to me. Where should we start? Okay, let's go in chronological order. When my dad came here, do you remember the first thing he did? Well, Harry came here to investigate the Berserk Pokémon incident. But the gate to the Bamboo Forest was locked, so I had to borrow the key. After that, we had our fateful encounter. Don't you find that a little unusual? You never met my dad before you crossed paths in the bamboo forest, right? Yep, that's right. In that case, don't you think it's strange? I mean... How could you even know about what happened before you met my dad? Huh? Now that you mention it, that is strange. Maybe I heard from Harry? After that, you helped pinch him in the bamboo forest? Yeah. I was by his side the whole time, protecting him until his injury got better. Tracking down the medicine was tough. But... how is that possible? Uh... Yeah, you can do both. Pikachu, that doesn't make sense. If you were with Pancham the whole time, you couldn't have gone looking for medicine. Huh? I could have sworn I stayed with him. Maybe I left once to go look around for some medicine? After yeah. Pancham recovered, Brings in out. do you yeah. remember what happened next? Together. Yeah, like... I heard a well, Pokémon roar from somewhere movies. way off in the forest. <laughs> I saw some Pokémon fleeing. So I figured there was something beyond the boulder. And then what? I climbed the boulder and continued on. And then I followed Harry and climbed the boulder too? Just yeah. as I thought. Your memories have gotten all mixed up. You didn't climb it twice. Pikachu. If what you said is correct, wouldn't that mean you climbed the boulder twice? That's what I said, but... Maybe I got mixed up because I saw Harry climb it? As you went deeper into the bamboo forest, what did you find? I came across a suspicious duo with a lair on. And I remember calling out to them. I shouted something like, Excuse me! What are you doing here? They tried to play dumb, and then the Laron suddenly came charging at us. Wait a second. That doesn't make sense. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you can't communicate with people other than Tim, buddy. That suspicious duo. 
Isn't it strange that they could understand what you were saying? Yeah, I guess you have a point. Maybe Harry said it for me? Hmm. So, the two of you escaped from danger and decided to become partners. That's when you received the hat, right? Yeah. I gave this hat to Pikachu as a gift. And Harry put it on my head? Getting mixed up. Yeah. Yeah, why are you saying you gave yourself the hat? Pikachu. You say you got the hat from my dad, but you also gave it to Pikachu? That's right. How strange. Can I'm starting to remember more. Together? This whole thing started with that car accident. I remember driving my car that day with my partner, Pikachu. Oh, God. <laughs> Suddenly, the brakes failed and we crashed. In a valley. And then I... I got thrown out of the car. Everything started to fade, and I blacked out. All I remember is Pikachu desperately crying for help. But, of course, these memories up to that point were Harry's. What is the matter? You do not appear to be injured. It is too late for him. He is fading as we speak. And we're back to the movie. You would go that far. I will need your physical form to save him. Even I cannot say for certain what will happen. Knowing this, do you still wish to save him? Very well. However, I have one condition. My cells are being used by some humans for nefarious ends. I want you to retrieve them for me. The fate of this human rests in the strength of your bond with him. Now. Anyway, so, that's what went down between me and Mewtwo. So clearly, this is a Mewtwo after they it learned that to not me all like Dad and Pikachu evil. had a really strong bond. Or after the first movie, yeah. assuming if this actually takes place in the anime way, universe, Tim, which I doubt. Don't you want to know what me and Mewtwo talked about after the ER incident? Huh? Do you remember what happened then too? Yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday, crystal clear. You got your memories wiped though. After we solved the R case, I went out to that alley to meet up with Mewtwo. Here you are, just like I promised you. Indeed. Thank you. So, that means it's my turn now. Before we proceed, there is something we must discuss. Oh yeah? Don't tell me you can't do it now. Right now, Pikachu's consciousness and your human consciousness coexist within you. It is a miracle that this balance has endured as long as it has. I can only imagine that your trust in one another has made this possible. If I were to forcibly separate the two... You're saying you can't guarantee that I'd survive that? Correct. I would say you have a 50% chance of survival. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. 
We don't have much time. Have you decided on which one to choose? Yeah, I've made up my mind. I'll take my chances with that 50%. That is incredibly So stupid. be it. Hey, mm. wait a second! When you say I might not survive, do you mean just me or Pikachu too? Your fate and Pikachu's are inextricably intertwined. Then I can't afford to leave this up to chance. Sorry, can you wait before making me human again? Please. I'm sure Tim will figure something out. Besides, I'd like to be here and watch him grow up. I'm sorry, Tim. Can't come home just yet. Very well. However, because you used a move earlier, you are now in a precarious situation. If your human consciousness remains this strong, Pikachu's will disappear. Then what can I do? I will restore the balance between your consciousnesses, and you will forget what you now remember. Amnesia again? <laughs> hey, wait! If you do that, how am I supposed to tell Tim I'm... <laughs> okay, night night! <laughs> there it all is. All this time I've been looking for my dad. And all along, you've been right beside me. I'm sorry. I should have realized it sooner. I mean, I already knew that's the movie, but like, each you, other? oh my god, you should have realized yeah, that the really should have been our biggest it. clue, huh? After all, you're my own flesh and blood. You've really grown up, Tim. You finally found me. Thank you. That's it. Oh. Yeah, does this memory not like so remove that balance? What do I again? call you now? Should I call you Dad? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're my dad, but you're a Pikachu too. <laughs> yeah, it'd be weird if someone overheard you. Pikachu is fine for now. Huh? Just until I'm back to normal. Yeah, sounds good, Dad. I mean, Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, I'd better get back to normal soon for everyone's situation. sake thanks to my dad's strong bond with Pikachu Mewtwo was able to save his life but our work isn't finished just yet the name of Emma's project was Unitas the same name as the organization we need to investigate the Unity Lab next which I know for a fact is the final chapter, because I've looked it up. Today is the last day of Pokémon Friendship Week. A variety of events are being held across the city to celebrate. And tonight, Mayor Myers will unveil what he calls a revolutionary device that will make Rhyme City proud. Expectations are high for this device, which oh, is meant yeah. to bring people and Pokemon closer together. Oh. Oh, tonight. Uh, you. Oh, they're, they're pulling a movie. Do you they're think Mayor Myers is really connected to Unitas? Yes. Well. Oh my god, they're gonna, they're gonna pull a movie. I'm convinced Pokemon and Pokemon human consciousness is interacting, merging. That kind of flip is what the unit as project was in the movie. That's what I plus Mewtwo's ability did. It, if for those who haven't seen the movie, uh, mild spoilers, it, uh, it's a bit late on that, but uh, uh, this riddle. This game is riddled with spoilers for both the first game and the movie, so I don't really feel that bad. And, as you just saw, that last part was the big reveal at the end of the movie. Anyway, at, in the flipping movie, they, Mewtwo had the ability to put a human consciousness in a Pokemon's body as long as the human was frenzied. 
He, which is how Pikachu got there in, I think, both. Just both canons. Both the movie canon and this one. Unitas is going to try and pull a movie. That's why they tried the camps to Mewtwo and why they needed the data. Anyway. Uh, there's only one way to find out. We need to go with Mayor himself. Let's sum up what we know so far, Tim. Jeff. Organization went after Mewtwo and stole my the Terry's body from it. Pikachu, you are both. <laughs> this organization has also been putting cubes on Pokemon to force them to do their dirty work. Right, and this organization's name? Unitas. So it means the name is Emma, Rachel's mother, used for her final project. Unitas project. Shared name along with the people involved. It's pretty clear that the two are related. As for a lab capable of mass producing machines complicated as the cubes, <laughs> Emma's fault facility is the only one that fits that bill. Shut down, though, wasn't it? Apparently not. What do you mean? What is? Some people have been going in and out of the facility recently. Where did you hear that? Tim, Tim, Tim. You realize how long I've been living in Rhyme City as a Pokemon? You know, the Pokemon we've met in our cases? No, get my eye in here. I know just about everywhere here. I see. And now that you have my dad's memories back, yep, combined with the knowledge of the latest info we've gathered. So trust me, this lab is operational. The abandoned Pokemon Unity Lab. Oh, I bet we'll find all the answers there. Don't forget, we also need to get Dad's body back. <laughs> right. This just in it's your gonna house be a long day. With your Make sure you're all prepped, Tim. Sister in the room. <laughs> A light roast today, huh? Oh yeah, it's got a nice acidic. Kick yes, to yes. It. Anyway, okay, one more. Boy, I sure wish somebody would bring me some coffee. Yeah, that's the one from the trailer. Okay, one more. This is the same one, isn't it? Every great detective starts. Oh, that was new. Uh, and that's also going to do it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one. Where we're going to start the end. Because oh, I've looked this up. Mostly curious about side quests. There are five chapters in this game. Next one's the last one. I know there's no side quest, so I don't even need to avoid them. I need to slow the flip down. And yeah. Next time, we're starting the end. End of this game. I'm so pumped for this. See you next time. Bye-bye.